Yo, what's up guys, my name is M aka Materia and welcome to Solo Leveling Arise Combat Guide. Before we start this video, I wanted to let you know, if you enjoy these kind of videos, leave a like and comment down below to push the algorithm, it helps me out. And also I know that you enjoy these type of videos and I know I can move forward with this type of content. So we start off with Sung Jin Woo's basic skills or with um, Sung Jin Woo's combat mechanics in general. And then we move on with the hunters. So first of all, we have different skills with Sung Jin Woo. We have the basic attack, we have the core attack, which I will go more in depth in uh, the, the hunter's part. Then Sung Jin Woo has a lot of basic skills that do different things. He has the QTEs and he has ultimate skills. When we look at the uh, basic abilities, uh, basic skills, he has a lot of different options. Um, as you can see, it really, there, there is no, I'd say, like best ability to use or something. I cannot say which skill is the best right now because the game has rune stones, which highly, highly change up the skills you're using, what they're doing, what effects they gain and so on and so forth. And because of that, your the best skill right now could change on a daily basis. For example, multi-strike, which has a break mechanic. Break mechanics are important in the game for bosses, which have a break bar. You have to deplete that completely, the shield, and then you can deal your damage. So these skills are important. For example, I'm using multi-strike because I got a proper runestone, which has, you can uh, just ignore the wall of text, but the most important thing for me for that skill is Jin Wu becomes invincible while using the skill. And every time the skill hits, increases damage by 3% stacking up to three times right now. But this is the most important thing. When I use that skill, I have invincibility frames. And that's why I like bringing multi-strike but you also have a lot of different stuff mutilate you have the death stance which is the only skill he has right now without rune stones which deals break heavy damage so you have so this one actually destroys the break bar or the break gauge from the enemies the most then we have the qtes which trigger not randomly but the shadow step, which you get a perfect dodge and then you can trigger the shadow step to inflict a defense break on the target and the game slows down. This is a part where you need to know for the combat. While slowing down, that's the perfect timing for you to throw out your skills and to use your support characters because you have time where the boss doesn't dodge or move around. So you, there's the highest chance for you to actually apply your skills and get in the damage and remove break boss for example then obviously sung jin Wu as well has ultimate skills ultimate skills are very simple once it's full you can use them i recommend you use only your ultimate when there's no break bar when the enemy has a defense break so you get the maximum amount of damage when it comes to enhancement leveling up skills i did a couple of here on my basic skills but i would recommend you to not increase the levels of your basic skills right now to be fair you need a specific scrolls to advance and the damage increase is not the greatest for some of them let me check real quick oh, this one is probably once you have a yes i think when you have a rune stone equipped and then level them up you get a better increase in damage than when it's just raw then it doesn't like there's only three percent while on the other it's way more it's like 15 percent but the main focus is when with limited scrolls you have and you don't know what to upgrade first. For Sung Jin Woo, I recommend because you cannot, I know you can see it, the QTE skills and the ultimate skill. Why is that? Because this is the stuff you always have in combat and you always will use in combat. So this is the stuff you always will use when you get it and having more damage output on them helps out quite a lot. As, as well as the ultimate skill. The shadow step I probably wouldn't upgrade because that one is just detrimental. It just has a, just a small increase in damage and I might do it later but right now I don't feel like I need it because shadow step is um, purpose is to be a utility skill just to slow down time to land a defense break to throw out your um, 
support units to break stuff or whatever you want to do or achieve or throw out your skills. So next up for the Hunters, it's a little bit of a different ball game. Now, I mentioned earlier, we have basic attacks and we have core attacks. So the difference between basic attacks and core attacks is simple. You use your basic attack till the gauge fills up. You can see that in combat. And once that gauge is full, it will your basic attack will immediately uh, transfer into the core attack. So that's the difference between the basic attack or core attack and then some people um, who thought, okay, well, what is even a core attack? How do I trigger it? That's how you do it basically. And that's also the condition to swap characters and stuff like that. When you read like, what's the condition to reach, um, to activate, you need to do the core attack. You have your basic skills for your characters, which we also talked um, about when it comes to using Sung Jin Woo, there's nothing special about that. They do their different things, that they have the different usage, but every character has only these two skills and is locked for every ability. While Jin Woo can change his um, basic skills, then we have special skills, which is important. For special skills, it's a little bit different. We have support skill and we have a QTE skill. The main difference between a support skill and a QTE skill is support skills are exclusive to when you play Sung Jin Woo because you cannot you always you only play Sung Jin Woo you cannot uh, change to a different character so when you call in a character that is the support skill while the QTE skill is when you play the hunters where you interchange them and then have different effects pay attention about that because there might be some characters who are not that great as a in a hunter party but they have very good for example support skill utility for sung jin woo you don't even need to level them up because there's a specific mechanic you're looking for maybe for a debuff cleanse or for a defense break or you need a break unit always pay attention to these kind of skills i feel like this one doesn't need to be upgraded that much because support skill is more like for utility but that opinion might change and then as well the ultimate skill which does their thing and as well their passives always read through everything your character does because at the end of the day reading is op in this game when it comes to upgrading skill enhancing a character's abilities if it's basic attack basic skill or special skill you can choose whatever because at the end of the, of the day you will use everything for example, basic attacks and core attacks, upgrading those first might be also a good thing because you will spam out your attacks quite a lot. So having more damage on them might be beneficial for you in the long run. Um, obviously, when you in, uh, upgrade your skills, they deal more damage, which helps out. The support skill is the one thing I would not recommend in the beginning to upgrade because that one is just a utility skill. You need don't need the extra damage on the utility. And maybe the QTE skill might be something you don't want to upgrade great first things first i feel like you could focus on basic attacks and basic skills and then you can move on to the special skills and the ultimate also make sure to rotate your qtes by using the core attack and then to ultimately trigger the qt effect and then rotate your characters through in a specific order to deal extra damage and get the special effects of your characters off as well. And um, that covers everything I wanted to tell you guys today for that first combat guide video. If you would like to see an advanced combat uh, guide video, let me know in the comments down below or in general what you want to see next. I was planning on making a artifact video or weapon guide, how to use the weapons, which weapon is good, which one is now that there's no weapon that's not good but which is your priority how how does team building work how do you create your teams or team building a team building video in general and for combat i just uploaded a no hit igris boss fight you can watch and check that one out if you didn't see it already um for some high level gameplay and that's it for today's video guys thanks for watching deuces